Okay guys, so I have this big black bag here and I'm just gonna let you know, there is a fur bear in here. Now, I did not kill it, but what I want y'all to do, I'm gonna say it weighs like uh, 30, 35 pounds. It's pretty heavy, maybe 20, but I'm gonna skin it today. Now, your job is to guess what animal it is. Go on down in the comment section and leave your guess. Now, I am gonna be wearing gloves today. Had some people say blow into them like a balloon, so I'm gonna do it. All right. And they went right on. Now, the footage y'all didn't see was me trapping this animal. Actually, a guy at my church killed this while he was hunting. That might have gave you a little bit of a tip. But he saw it while he was hunting, so he gave it to me. So thanks, Kevin and Noah. Thanks. Now for the unbagging, guys. We have this big old massive animal, and we're going to unbag it. I have never seen it either, but I do know what it is. All right. All right. Okay. I'm just, uh... All right, guys, here it is. Oh, it's in another black bag. I did not know this, guys. But anyways, there's the shape. You may or not, you may or may not be able to tell what it is. I've still not seen it, but. It doesn't stink too bad. All right, now I finally got it. I'm pulling it out of the bag, all right? Bang, it's a big bobcat. Big, nice bobcat. Now guys, he was out deer hunting this year and he saw it walking through. He shot it in the face, if y'all wanna see that. But I don't blame him for shooting bobcats. I had a lot of people tell me, oh my gosh, why'd you shoot such a pretty animal? Well, because this thing will eat every single rabbit, every single squirrel, every single turkey, and every single bird that it sees, and chickens. So yeah, that's why I killed such a beautiful animal. And another comment I got on that bobcat video was, oh my gosh, dude, you're wasting so much meat on that bobcat. Yes, I did eat that last bobcat. Not to survive, just to say I've eaten a bobcat, and to give it a chance. To me, there's parts of it that taste like a pork chop and other parts of it that taste like a freezer burnt hot dog. So if you do eat bobcats, I'm fine with it. But if you don't eat bobcats, I'm not mad at you either. My hands are so numb where this thing's been in the freezer for three months. But it's okay, you gotta get it done. Now we got the tail. Now we got the tail taken care of. We're just gonna keep on skinning. Oh, this guy's getting hard to skin his coat. There he be all right. And for y'all who don't know, here in Kentucky. We have an abundance of bobcats, so they are no, in no way, shape, or form endangered. There's half of a bobcat done, half of a bobcat to go. I don't know why I just stopped skinning to tell y'all that, but it is the truth. It's getting close to the end of January now, and my trapping season only goes up to the end of February. So we're getting sort of towards the end of the hunting and trapping part of my channel, and we're turning into spring. In the spring, don't worry, I'm not quit making videos. I'll just be fishing literally almost every day. So I hope y'all like fishing, cause I'm I'm really not even kidding about fishing every day. Okay guys, I'm just gonna let y'all know, I've had a lot of people, 
I've had a few people tell me I should take the skulls off these bobcats and make like a European mount, but unfortunately, I can't do this with this one because it was shot in the head with a pretty big, well, a deer caliber gun. So, not this time. Alright, well that was his neck just popped. I don't think I really need to pull anymore. Alright, well guys, that's a really rough version of it. I messed up on his head, as you can see, but that is okay because he didn't have much of a head to start with today. As in the body, I think I'm doing pretty good on it. I will, uh, I'll turn this guy right side out so y'all can see what he looks like. Look at the spots on him right there. Now, this isn't a high dollar Utah out west bobcat but it is a good Kentucky cat. Now Kentucky cats are usually some of the worst cats you can get. They don't have real defined black spots and instead of having a pure white belly, a lot of times they'll have a little bit of a tan belly. But still, a good bobcat is a good bobcat. I probably won't sell this to a fur auction or anything. I like to just keep my furs and give them as gifts because, you know, they are pretty cool. There you go, there's a bobcat. He's not completely finished. What I'm gonna do with him is I'm gonna go put him in a freezer. Next year, I plan on buying a fleshing beam. It's gonna be a lot of work up front taking care of all the hides I've done this year, but it's better than me trying to flesh them on a pipe, cause that's hard. I just wanna thank y'all for watching. I've been slagging on trapping quite a bit. It's actually been really, really, really wet around here in the last few days. Once the wetness stops, I will be out there. I have plans on making a trench set and a flat set. I've never done either one of those, but I'm going to try to do my first ones. But yeah, if you guys guessed that a bobcat was in the black bag, go ahead and give yourselves a pat on the back because you guessed right. And if you guessed the possum, you was wrong. But, you know. But until next time, bye-bye.